You think she has a man right now? There is no way. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I'm, I'm keeping it 10 stacks here. So I got this video from a channel called Playback and I watched it for a few seconds. I said, this is going on the channel. I'm gonna play it. You can just watch it for yourself. I like surprises. I'm trying to like stay calm. <laughs> you got a sneak peek. Here are a list of things I expect men to pay for if we're dating. <sighs> You know, I'm gonna try to stay in my seat. I'm gonna try yo, to stay. Yo, yo. Okay. At this point. Okay. I don't know anymore. You know, some people's TikToks get banned. I, I don't know how that works, but I need to report this part. Okay. And I don't mean dinner dates. I mean kayaking, snorkeling, going to theme parks, zip lining, etc. Number two, my nails. I get my nails done uh, roughly once a month. That you know, that's pretty good for me. So I expect him to pay that. <laughs> Number three, my hair. Um, I just feel like as your girl, I should just not walk around with my hair looking crazy. And you should pay for it. Number four, gas. I just think that Damn. the masculine thing to do is to make sure that my gas is always on. Number five, wax. Um, I feel like that's pretty much self-explanatory. Number six, my electric bill. Chances are, if we're dating, you're probably gonna spend a lot of time at my house, which is going to cause my power to go up. Okay. Holy shit. This has to be satire. And the fact that there's a chance that it might not be satire is depressing. I think she's being serious. I think this woman right here is dead serious. Where did she even begin with gathering all these expectations and standards? The electric bill? Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, you wanna add your car payment to this shit? And you wanna your health insurance? Okay, yeah, yeah, the logic there. <laughs> I don't even have to point out yeah. why this is ridiculous. Everyone watching this looks at this and is laughing. I wanna see what else she says, cause this is a clearly longer video. I'm gonna try to hold it together. Here are a list of things I expect men to do in marriage. Number one, pay the rent, mortgage, and utilities. <laughs> Okay. 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 I'm doing all that. But what are you doing? Okay. Well, what's funny is she. Yes. Um. <laughs> I just feel like it's the masculine thing to do to pay for my nails and pay for this and pay for that. Yet the feminine thing to do would be doing the laundry, laundry doing the, the dishes, dishes the and the cooking. cooking. So you, you can expect the masculine traits, stereotypes of a man, but I can't ask you to do the same? Well, yeah, the gender roles only apply when it's the man's gender roles. She She's absolved of any roles. Every roles. She got us doing both. Let me let her just explain this, because okay. this is just top tier comedy. You know what I'm saying? And then if we have a home, like the property tag. Two, to do most of the cooking. I cook, but I don't really like to cook. So it's really a plus when I meet a guy who is really good at cooking. Number three, the dishes. I don't like doing the dishes, so it would be great to have a man <laughs> that just took that chore off of my hand. Number four, do the laundry. And when I say do the laundry, I don't just mean like put the clothes in the wash. I mean like the whole process. Put the clothes in the wash, put the clothes in the dryer, put them up. It needs to be iron, fold what needs to be fold. Like do the whole thing from A to Z. Um, number eight is date nights at least twice a month, but that actually goes into like any form of recreational activities. You saw how big that list was? I mean, it's two people in a relationship and she's now demanding that the man <laughs> do everything. Does she think that he's an octopus with eight arms? What's his day job? You're expecting I'm him to say. make a lot of money and to have a day job. And he's coming back home and he got to take care of the dishes, the laundry, and cookie food? With that bitchy attitude of yours? What are you gonna be doing while I'm taking care of everything? I would like to know what she does. Is she a multi-billion dollar business owner investor? Because in that case, you know what? That might be a fair deal. I'll yeah. start scrubbing yeah. I'll clean the whole wall. <laughs> and you catch me sweat for dust and shit if I'm getting millions of dollars. But I have a strong feeling. Because she said in the first slide, anything dating the men must pay for. Yeah. So all dates had to be paid for. <laughs> Trying to figure out what you're giving me. You think she has a man right now? There is no way. <laughs> that is, I'm, I'm keeping it 10 stacks here. I, well, I don't even have to say it. Okay, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna say that, but let's say there was a man that was morbidly out of shape mm -hmm. and he wrote out a list of all the things he want a woman to do. Like, I want you to wash, I want you to clean, I want you to cook, but he looks unkept, unwell. I would laugh at that. If a man who is obese made the same thing, number one, it would get no views, it would just kind of get three views. But if someone did happen to stumble upon it, they would laugh and go, you're an idiot. There are people that will defend this and say, she can do what she wants. Yeah, if this was flipped, nobody's on the guy's side. They'd be like, 
oh, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. Why do you think you can even say that? But now she's allowed to say this. Society has regressed to the point where I, I don't even fight it back anymore. Yeah. And everybody can have their own TikTok account, I guess. <laughs> and say whatever the fuck they want. And you be blowing up fast on there. How come when white women do this trend, y'all don't ask them what they bring to the table? How come when... IG models talk about how they want a rich man and they want a man to pay for this and pay for that. Y'all don't ask them what they're bringing. There has been so many people on this app to do this trend and yet y'all are asking me what I bring to the table. Why do I have to answer that question? Is this real? This is real. Okay, if you're gonna demand A to Z times two, I can't ask you. What are you gonna retail? I'm not allowed to even ask a question. No. I oh wouldn't have even asked you the question if we just went on a date first. You just threw all this at me. You will do this guidebook of dating rules and marriage rules that I must apply myself for, but I can't even ask you, what do you bring? That's what's wild about 2022. She makes a Bible long list of what she demands her man to do. And it's the no, masculine no, no to exception. Do. Even attempting to ask the question of, well, what do you do? Is offensive. <laughs> what are you? She, how dare you have the balls to even ask me? And then she makes it about, why do all the white girls? Oh, it ain't about race. Oh, it's not about race. They're not just asking white girls. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's no need to bring race into this. We'll do the race video for another one. There has been so many people on this app to do this trend, and yet y'all are asking me what I bring to the table. A girl who has a lot of demands, she'll have objective beauty that men from all walks of life, civilizations, whatever, they will all look at that girl and go, damn, that's a beautiful girl. The girl typically provides the looks and usually men are willing to bend over backwards for a girl that just looks good. Yep, actors and artists and I've watched podcasts where they said even their like wife that they have was a girl that was like a fan of them, reached out to them and like they are proud saying that, yeah, I'm the breadwinner in this relationship because they bring even just beauty to this table. Yes. Men will just, I'll take care of you. To the people, well, who are you guys to say that she's beautiful? Stop the cap. She is overweight slash obese. Up there. Um, <laughs> so you can't demand someone to do all this hard work when, well, what do you even? The bottom line here is 2022, you can't say facts. You're not allowed to say what's reality. I'll just let the people look at this and decipher why this is so hilarious and messed up. I ain't even gonna have to say anything. I ain't gonna say too much. Ladies, if you learn one thing from me, please stay away from men like this. Men like this are literally the worst. I've dated four high value alpha males. I think I had a cut date. it. I gotta go go somewhere right now. Cut it. All right. Okay. 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 I thought I had a hearing problem, but she just said here I dated four high value alpha male men. Yeah. Show me the pictures. Can we see these men? Can we see the men? Please. Let me. Let me. Let me see them. Let me see them. Pop up the pictures. Pop up the Instagrams. Just let me and see. And I need to talk to these men. I need to talk to these men. I need to verify that you didn't grab these photos from somewhere. Look, she could be telling the truth. Let me see. Put the guys in the next TikTok and tell them that yeah, they've done all this for. Me. Matter of fact, your next boyfriend, post with him. Let's see. I just want to see what he looks like. Everything that they do in a relationship is so transactional. And they don't understand that that whole transactional mindset is what's ruining their relationships altogether. So they sit here and try to convince you that you have to work for every little thing when in reality, the things that you're asking for are normal in a real relationship. They gaslight you, manipulate you, and then lo and behold, the relationship becomes controlling and abusive. Oh. I have the standards that I have to keep men like this away from me. Good, good, good. You're keeping a lot of Yeah, away. yeah. <laughs> it's the standards that are keeping yeah, these men the away. standards that are... She She's weeding them out. She hit on the nail. There are short men that get women. There are fat men that get women. There's actually a lot of broke men that get women. If you, sir, are unable to maintain and pull women, that's not because you are fat, short, broke. It's because you're not a good person. And based on this comment, it's very obvious why women don't want to date. Big Shirley done lost her. <laughs> Okay. I'll read the comment. Okay, I'll read the comment. And she just said, no, short men can get women, fat and broke men can all put women. Has she ever been a man? Has she ever been a short man, a fat man, a broke man? Yeah, so I don't think you can just assume that when you don't know what that is. It's And if you're not pulling women, it's because you're not a good person. Easy. Women are also seeking beauty in men objectively, just the same way men are doing. That's okay. This is so far from reality. These people exist. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. I mean, that's why there's like groups of flat earthers that yep. literally have conventions mm -hmm. and you can't tell them otherwise. And they don't even have facts, they have theories. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they will stand on those for life. And then you sit there like, wow. 
there's really people out there. Part of me thinks, you know what? With this rhetoric, with this logic and this mindset, any man that maybe she would ever get, she's ensuring that she definitely doesn't get them. Well, you know what? That's perfect. She's shooting herself in the foot. With this bogus fairy tale logic, she will prevent herself from ever having a man like her. In a way, it's like the only person you're hurting is yourself. But at the end of the day, let's say years go by, and she's like, oh, I still don't have a man. What the heck? Men suck. She won't even realize that she's the problem. This will always be in her head. Yeah, it's because stupid men are just, all men are trash. I just haven't met the right one yet. So even when she fails miserably in, in finding a partner or whatever, she will never even admit to herself that it was her fault. I mean, you guys are watching it here. This is the reality. There's more people like her that they might look a little different than her, but they all think the same shit. Since you guys have been asking so much, oh. Here's my list of things I'm going to do for a man that meets my okay. needs and desires. Number one, I'm going to stay with him. Number two, I'm going to continue loving him. Number three, I'm going to continue being his wife. She just ended on that. Those are the same things. And that's not a thing. In this relationship, I'm gonna provide you three things. Number one, I will stay with you. Number two, I will be in the relationship. <laughs> Number three, I will participate in the relationship. And that is what I will provide. So don't ask me again. I know there's other men right now watching this like. <laughs> and this is 100% real. You ain't gotta say anything. I look at these reaction videos and I look at people's hot takes online and TikToks. My first instant isn't to criticize them and say, here's why you're wrong. There's a lot of great stuff on TikTok. There's a lot of great people. There's a lot of people giving decent advice. I think it just messes it up that anybody can voice their opinion and like it just gets mushed. That is the best and worst part about TikTok. Number one, I'm going to stay with him. Number two, I'm going to continue loving him. Number three, I'm going to continue being his wife. I you can't make, make this shit up. This exists. This is a real person with real thoughts spewing this. Annual honeymoon. Ain't that, you're supposed to go honeymoon once. Once. Let's see how this works for her. Let's come back in five years, see if she found the man of her dreams. Let's see who does all this. You can dream. Yeah, you can dream, but you know, you can't dream too big sometimes. And there's so many more things I would like to say. I mean, we'll say them. Y'all saw the clips? That's the joke. I added on to it a decent amount. I ain't gotta add anymore. But all y'all can comment your opinions. Please, cause y'all are not Please write in the comment section your thoughts on this. Let's have a chat. We'll meet you down there. I'm out. Holy shit.